even though it is repair even though it is replacement or renewal charges all three we consider as revenue expenditure what are the difference between capital as well as revenue replacement is different from repair replacement is different repair is different a shutdown decision is that form is temporarily suspending closing A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adesh Sir here, lecturer in Vidya Ashram, First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So now we are doing your session eleven of your corporate tax planning. We are almost done with all your calculation part. Now the left out is your theory part. So in today's session, we will work out in the sense we will understand the theory. The theory in the sense repair, renewal as well as replacement. We'll go for that. Your agenda is very simple. Tax management re with reference to repair, replacement, renewal, as well as renovation. These are the topic we are going to cover in today's session. Repair, replacement, renewal, or renovation. It is all about theory. You don't have any practical problems in this. In this, the main tax consideration which one has to keep in mind is whether. Expenditure on repair, replacement, or renewal is deductible as revenue expenditure under Section 30, 31, 37. Remember, even though it is repair, even though it is replacement, or renewal charges, all three we consider as revenue expenditure. You will get only theory for this. It may be five mark or it may be ten mark. Then, in the expenditure is deductible as revenue expenditure. Under this section, then cost of financing such expenditure is reduced to the extent of tax save. Whatever you mention it as revenue expenditure, always it saves your tax. How? So I'll tell you. This is your profit and loss account. If you show more expenditure, your profit will be less. Your tax will be less. If you don't show expenditure, your profit will be more. Tax will be more. That's why. Repair, replacement, renewal. We call it as expenditure. All these expenditure we take it in the payment or expenditure side, and the difference will be called as profit or loss. That profit or loss we consider as your tax. Your tax calculation will be done on these things. Now, difference between revenue as well as capital expenditure. Before we talk about the revenue expenditure. will understand what is capital expenditure and what are the difference between capital as well as revenue now cost of acquisition and installment charges of a fixed asset is a capital expenditure cost of acquisition and installment charge like whatever you acquire purchase and whatever the installment charges are there a fixed asset is called as capital like i bought mobile capital expenditure so these are called as your capital once you bought once you do any installment charges all comes under capital then expenditure incurred to free oneself from a capital liability is a capital expenditure expenditure incurred to free oneself from a capital liability is called as capital expenditure then expenditure incurred towards acquisition of sources of income is also capital expenditure then expenditure incurred to increase the operating capacity of fixed asset like you have bike so something if you add to the bike the life of the bike will be another 5 years extended then those expenditures are called as capital expenditure hope you are clear yes expenditure incurred for obtaining capital by issue of shares is a capital expenditure then what are the revenue expenditures here i'll tell you purchase price current asset resale of manufacturing is a revenue expenditure expenditure incurred to free oneself from a revenue liability is also a revenue expenditure expenditure incurred towards an income is revenue expenditure expenditure incurred to maintain the fixed asset like repair charges renewal charges polishing painting everything comes under 
revenue expenditure. Expenditure incurred towards arising loans. Like if you want to apply for a loan, what you are supposed to do? Processing charges, some commission you have to pay, some documentation you are, documentation you are supposed to do. All these things comes under your revenue expenditure. Hope you are clear. Good. So these are called as revenue expenditure. In this, what you are supposed to remember? Very simple. In this, you are supposed to remember what is capital and what is revenue expenditure. You understood. Under capital expenditure, you know that these are called as capital. These are called as revenue expenditure. Only the difference between capital and revenue you are supposed to remember. Then, first one will go with repair. Now, Repair implies existence of thing has malfunctioned and can be set right by effecting repairs which may involve replacement of some parts thereby making the thing as efficient as it was like. Your vehicle, you have a two-wheeler, the engine is not working, what they will do? They will repair that. If something is, uh, is not working, they will replace that particular part. So these are called as repair. Replacement is different from repair. Replacement is different, repair is different. Very simple. This pen is not tight. What I'll do? I just I'll add the screw and I'll make it tight. That is called repair. This part is almost gone. What I'll do? I'll buy one more and I'll stick to this. This is called replacement. Hope you got. So very simple. I'll give you best example. You are going somewhere, the vehicle tire got punctured. What will do? You will go to some pun puncture shop. So you will pay 50 or 100 rupees. It will be getting done in half an hour. Hope you are clear. This is called repair. But you went to some puncture shop. They said that it cannot be repaired. You have to replace tire. You have to change the tire. That is called replacement. Hope you got what is replacement and what do you mean by repair. Hope you are clear. Next, nice. replacement. You understood what is repair. Now I'll make you understand what is replacement. Now, replacement implies the removal or discarding of things that was in use by different or new thing capable of performing the same function with the same greater efficiency. Like replacement, what it was like as I told you, the tire is not worthy or it is not good, what you will do? You will replace the tire. After replacing what happens? Earlier how your vehicle was moving, the same way now also the vehicle will move. Hope you are clear. Yes. The replacement of section in series of machine which are interconnected in segment of the production process which together form an integrated whole means some circumstances be regarded as amounting to repair when without such replacement that unit in that segment will not function. If you don't replace like without replacing tire will the vehicle work? No, the vehicle will not work. So the next topic I'll go with we understood what is repair, we understood what is replacement. The next topic will be shutdown or continue decisions. Sometimes what happens, you are running your company, your business. Sometimes there may be huge loss. Then what you will do? In case of huge loss, you are supposed to close your company. You are supposed to shut down your company. Will you shut down? Will you close or will you continue? That is a question. Now, shutdown decision. What is shutdown point? Reasons for shutdown. Shutdown or continue decision rule with example and Example like numerical or shutdown or continued decision, cases in which business is not considered discontinued. These are the topics you are supposed to remember while doing your shutdown or continuation business. Now, what is shutdown actually? A shutdown decision is that firm is temporarily suspending, closing. It does not mean that the firm is going out of business. Like. Due to COVID, what happens? All the colleges, all the institutions, all the companies are closed. It is not that it is permanently closed. It is a temporary. Temporarily, they have closed. Then, the shutdown decision depends on shutdown point. The shutdown point denotes the exact moment when company revenue is equal to its variable 
caused. All these points are called as shutdown. What is shutdown point? Like shutdown point means is a position of operation at which company is receiving no advantage for continuing the operation. Like shutdown point means what? Very simple. You use your vehicle, two wheeler. There is a one red color point will be there for your fuel. Once your line reaches the red point means your fuel is almost done. Once if it reaches the red color point means another 5 or 10 kilometer you can move your vehicle. Means it is an indicator, reminder you are supposed to refill your tank. That is called your shutdown point. Hope you are clear. Yes. Reasons of shutdown production like falling demand. Why the shutdown will happen? Very simple, you have started a new company, you are closing your company. Reasons are what? Like, fall in demand, there is no demand for that. Like, umbrella, rain code, will it work now? No, you cannot use umbrella now because there is no rain only properly. There is no proper summer also. So you cannot carry the umbrella everywhere. So, shutdown point will come. Similarly, financial problem, you don't have money to run your business. Changing technology. So very simple, the typewriters. Now computers are there. Will anybody go and purchase typewriter? No, they will go for computer because whatever you type, we can take print out. We can edit also, but in typewriter, you cannot edit. So changing technology. There is no demand for typewriter because of computer. High rate of taxes. Sometimes what happens? Your income is 1 lakh, 30,000 you have to pay tax only. What about 70,000? Out of 70, you have to pay your all the partners. Everybody should be distributed. Dividend you have to pay. Many expenses will be there in that. Inadequate availability of raw material. Like you have to man, you want to manufacture, but there is no raw materials only. Like you want to produce something, no raw materials. That is also part of your reasons for shutdown. Recession in market. In the market recession, for that particular unit only, there is no demand, like mobile. So, you have one mobile of some feature, the same features with lesser price, one more brand will come. Then what happens? Automatically recession for your product. Then, mismanagement. In case of mismanagement also, you are supposed to shut down your company. Shutdown or continued decision rule with example like generally for continuation of business all the firms should has more revenue than total cost. Y your cost is 1000, income is 2000, you can run your company. Your cost is 1000, income is only 800, you cannot run your company. Then, to, but in short run all the firm ignore the fixed cost hence the requirement for short run is revenue is equal to or higher than variable cost. These are the example for your shutdown or continuation dividend. Decision. Short run rule for shutdown or continued decision with example. Short run in the sense, in the short run, shutdown we only consider the variable cost. Variable means what? Day to day expenses, salary, rent, raw material purchase all comes under variable. Short run is for limited period of time, like for quarterly, half yearly, yearly. This is called short term, not more than one year. Next. It means we check what the company is able to cover or not the variable cost for the short period from its sale. It, if not, the firm needs to shut down. If nothing is fulfilled, the firm needs to shut down, close. Then, for example, if the revenue of company is rupees 100, and its variable cost is 80, then the contribution will be how much? 20. 100 minus 80, your income is 20. In this, there is no need of shutdown. See, your income is 100, cost is 80. What is your profit? 20. Will you close your company? No, because you are under profit. Hope you are clear. Yes. So I'll go back to all the previous slides so that you can take a screenshot. Yes. So these are your agenda, repair, replace, renewal or renovation, difference between revenue as well as capital, repair, 
replacement, shutdown or continue, what is shutdown decision, what is shutdown point, shutdown or continue decision, short run rule for shutdown or continue. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. We're done with your 11th session of your topic called corporate tax planning. We With this, we concluded your unit number four. Thank you.